So far, we've been using animations from Mixamo for our crowd projects, but you may find that a bit frustrating, especially when you can't find the exact clip you need. For example, I need an animation where the character waves at the same time he walks. So I go to Mixamo, search for wave clips, and some of them look great. I could probably use them, but the character is not walking at all, but I need him to walk at the same time he waves. Is there any way to merge this wave animation with another walk animation? Yes, that's exactly what the agent transform groups do in Houdini. What we are going to do now is set up our agent with a walk clip and then add the wave clips only to the upper body of our agent. That way my agent will walk and wave at the same time. Ok, so here I have my agent with all the clips I need. I have a walk clip and a couple of wave clips, one waving with both hands and the other with only one hand. I've also put an agent clip properties node to prevent my wave clips from playing on loop, so my agents won't be waving again and again. Go back to the agent clip Turn off the clip preview so the agent remains in the T-pose and let's create now an agent transform group node. We'll connect this node right before the agent prep because as we saw in the agent definition cache video, the transform groups are part of the agent definition while the agent prep is not. Display the node and you'll see in the parameters window that there is a transform group created already called group 1. Awesome, now in the root transform I have to choose which part of my agent's body I want to include in this transform group and I'll do that by choosing the root joint or the parent joint. For instance, if I set the left arm as root transform, this is the joint of the shoulder, the transform group will include all his children joints. Let's turn on the show guide geometry so we can better see what's going on. Place the pointer in the viewport and press W to switch to wireframe mode. As you can see, the whole left arm all the joints depending on this root joint are now included in this transform group. What part of my agent's body I want to modify? The agent waves by moving the upper body, so I'll set as root transform the spine joint. All these joints of the upper body depend on the spine joint. I'm going to rename the group to upper body so I can better identify it later. And that's it, we've created our first transform group. Let's go now to the .NET, our simulation. Mine is very simple, just three nurses walking forward playing the walk clip, which is represented by this crowd state here. But what we want to do is use this walk clip as a base clip and then add the wave clips on top of it. For that, we'll use a node called Agent Clip Layer. I'll connect the Agent Clip Layer node to the crowd state I want to use as the base clip. In my case, as I said, it's the walk clip. So I'll connect the clip layer here. Now in the clip name parameter, I'll choose the clip I want to overlap. I'm going to pick the first wave clip, wave 01. And in the transform group, I'll put the part of the body where I want to apply that clip, which will be the upper body group we created before. Hit play and there you go, the nurses are walking forward, but their upper body is playing the wave 01 clip. Now they walk and wave at the same time. The blend ratio parameter, this slider here, controls what percentage of this new clip is applied to the transform group. If we leave it as 1, the transform group, the upper part of my agent's body, 
will play the wave clip at 100%. If we set it to zero, the transform group will not play the wave clip at all. And if we set it to 0.5, we'll have 50% walk, 50% wave. So the agents will not be able to fully raise their arms. Look at this, they are now doing a Greek dance. Alright, let's set it back to 1. Pull him up! You probably noticed that the animation doesn't look very good. The trunk looks very stiff, and that's because in the wave clip, the agent was staying in place. Let me go back to the agent clip and check that out. Yes, the agent stays in place and his trunk is not really moving. But when someone walks forward, the trunk also moves with it, right? The thing is that the transform group we've set up contains the whole upper body, including the trunk. So the wave clips are applied to the whole upper body, and that includes the stiff trunk. We can fix this by going back to the agent transform group and changing the root transform to the next joint in the chain, the spine 1. Now we are taking a bit less trunk. Let's go back to the dub net, switch to the shaded mode and press play to see how it looks. This looks much more natural now, as the trunk is not that stiff. But I think we could go one step further and select the spine 2 as root transform. That will give us the chest, the head and both arms. That's actually what we use when we wave. We don't really use the trunk. Back again to the top net and see the results. Awesome! Right now we are only adding one clip, this wave 01. But if we turn on this wonderful option called randomize clips, we will be able to add multiple clips and let Houdini assign them randomly to the agents. Here I'll put the wave 02 and I'm going to create another one for the wave 01. This will add some variety to the simulation because each agent will wave in a different way. Now I only have two clips, but if I had five or ten clips, I would have a lot of variety in the simulation. Right now these two agents on both sides are raising their arms at the exact same time, but you can break this pattern by activating this initial clip time parameter and then tweaking the random clip offset until you get the result you like. I'm going to set it to, for example, 5. And now if I press play, each agent will wave at a different time. We can configure these clip layers, these overlapped clips, so they are played only when a certain condition is met, by using the same crowd triggers we used for the transitions. Let's create a crowd trigger node and connect it to any of these three inputs in the agent clip layer. Now in the agent clip layer node, let's turn on this box activate with trigger, and here we'll choose which input of these three we want to use. I've connected my trigger to the first input, so I leave it as first trigger input. I'm going to set up the crowd trigger by time, and I want the trigger to be activated on frame 48, with a random offset of about 10 frames. Great, let's run the simulation, and if all is working fine, our agents should be playing those wave clips around frame 48. Let me play the simulation again. Yes, around frame 48, my agents raise their arms and wave. Thanks to this random offset of 10 frames in the crowd trigger node, my agents are waving at different times, and that makes my simulation look much more organic and natural. If you feel like they are raising the arms too fast, 
especially these two <laughs> on the sides, you can use the blending frames parameter in the agent clip layer to make the transition between clips a bit smoother. Increase it to, for example, 12. You'll notice that this one below changes at the same time because these two parameters are linked so they have the same value. And press play to run the simulation. The agents will now raise their arms more softly. Good job, this is how we use the agent transform groups to add animation clips to specific parts of your agent's rig.